Hello everyone, it's Amy, and I am just here to show you um, my swap with Becky, Aunt Beck's creation. Um, and this is what I made for her for Lori Seabrook's April Showers Bring May Flowers swap. And so we were supposed to make a shaker and some flowers and a set of note cards. And so this is what I made for Becky. This is the shaker that I made. And um, I just put some little flower sequins and some beads in there. And then in the middle, I just made a little flower and I glued it right to the center. Because like a lot of shakers, when you tip them up, everything disappears. And so, and that always drives me crazy. So I went ahead and I glued one right in the middle. So no matter what, if everything, you know, gets down into the edges, there's always a pretty little flower inside. So I just made this one with some die cuts. And then I made some flowers and the colors that Becky chose was red and pink and yellow. And so I made things in those colors. And these are just with some, this is some homemade paper and glitter paper. And then this one is just homemade paper and cardstock. And this one is cardstock with glitter paper. And those are, and then just different color centers with a little bit of bling in the middle. And then I just, this was a package of rubber cling stamps that I just saved the packaging for. And the flowers fit on there really perfect. And then I just put um, some colored paper at the top with my stamp. So those are the flowers that I made. And then these are just some little extra flowers in the papers that I used um, with a little paper clip on there. And this is so that if she decides to decorate her cards, um, she'll have some extra little flowers to use that green is the back of, it's the back of this red one here. So, and Pee Wee and Oliver have decided it's time to play. And then this is just a little box that I made to hold the cards. Um, I did the cards with a stencil and after, after each stenciling, um, I took the stencil and flipped it over on a piece of copy paper and it turned out really pretty. So I used that for the top of the box. And then I included some little die cuts with some sentiments on it because we had decided on blank cards. So I just, there's some different sentiments on there that, that match the some of the papers. And then these are the cards that I made. They're all the same. And I hope that they're not too plain. I really wasn't sure how far to go, not knowing what the card was going to be for. But I stenciled with red and pink and yellow delusions. And then I did, I um, mounted it on cream cardstock and put the stitching around the edges. And then I put the, um, the Glitter Mod Podge on the top. And four of them open up like this. And then two of them open sideways like this. But other than that, I did a large 12 by 12 piece of paper. And then I used that um, to cut all of the different cards for the set of six cards that we made for each other. And the paper that I used to do my stenciling on was wallpaper because we had a um, a little junk store that went out of business, so I got a whole bunch of rolls of wallpaper. So now I have paper to use for, I don't even know how long, a very long time. So those are the things that I made for Becky, and I hope that she likes them when she gets them. And I hope that you all like them. We'll put those sentiments back in there. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.